All right, we are going to do a quick tour around my classroom. Um, it is August of 2021, and um, for me, school will be starting in just over a week. Um, but I've so still have a few things to take care of, but for the most part, my classroom is set up. Um, as of this moment, this could change, but as of this moment, um, our district is looking at having everyone in masks with at least three foot spacing. So you'll see that I have my student seating set up differently this year. Normally I would have a circle formation on the floor over here for kindergarten and circle games and things like that. Um, that's just too hard to do with three foot spacing. So I have kind of a grid with sort of windows between so if they're all facing this way they can still see a little bit better and then basically the exact same formation for the chairs over there which is where um, the older students will sit um, most of the time so that they're facing towards the smart board um, I've got a little um, piano over there and a small desk so that I can plug in my computer to the board and a music stand there where I keep the things um, that I need for teaching, like lesson plans and whatever else I need to reference my seating charts. Um, I have some extra chairs in the back, which are, you know, I normally have those for chorus. Um, we are hoping to have chorus this year, but I, I don't know how many kids I'll be able to have in the room at a time. So to be determined, but they are back there. Um, I have this rolling whiteboard in front of my um, speaker system, which I only use from time to time um, because I mostly play my sound through the projector speakers. But um, I had to shift things around a little bit to make enough room for this seating arrangement with three foot spacing. So that's where we are right now. Um, this table has my um, supplies for the different color teams. You'll see that I've got six different groups in my seating arrangement and students have assigned seating. Um, so they're also um, by extension assigned to a color team. So if you're sitting in the blue chairs, you're on the blue team and you use the blue pencils and the blue markers and all of those kinds of things. Um, I have another desk back here because the one at the front of the room in an effort to keep as much space for myself as I can is um, quite small. So um, there's not really, it's really cramped if I try to put a monitor there for you know Zoom and stuff like that, which I'll mostly be using for staff meetings, not for teaching. So I put that back here so that I can still have a little bit more workspace. Um, I've got some books and then the boom whackers are on the walls of my closet. Um, I'm very happy to have my instrument shelf set back up. We are going to be able to use instruments a lot more this year and just sanitize um, between rather than having to just have everything only be individual supplies. So that gives us a few more options. And along the same lines, I was able to get my ukuleles back out, which I mostly use with my sixth graders. Um, I had them tucked away all year last year um, because of the shared supplies thing, but I'm hoping to be able to do that with sixth grade this year. I also have my board back, which I use for um, different kinds of tracking incentives, as well as jobs. I did have to make a change because I realized with the way our seating arrangement is, normally I have different colors take turns leading the class in a line over to the door when they line up at the end of class. That's not really practical, like with three colors being across like this, it's orange team being the line leader doesn't really work. So um, I got rid of the line leader job, gasp, and instead put in the job of sanitizer. So <laughs> I figure, um, when we are, you know, getting ready to use instruments and stuff, they can be in charge of 
um, making sure that everyone gets the hand sanitizer. That's my thought for now. We can always change it out if we need to, we'll see. Um, and then I've got, these are the um, learning objectives. I just use a dry erase marker to write on these Dollar Tree picture frames, like just literally one phrase about, you know, what we're doing that day in each grade level. And my piano with the speakers. I moved this cart over here because the back of the room was so crowded. Um, so this is where I keep, if we're gonna be using manipulatives and things like that, which I'm hoping also again to be able to use a little bit more this year, I put those in individual containers again by color team so that they can get out the ones from their color and use those clipboards and then dry erase staff boards are also back there. And then we have my um, long poster here and the solfege over here. And now we are back over to the front of the room. So I'll do one more quick turn around. We're not back to, you know, quote unquote normal yet, but it's way better than a year ago when I was putting everything away to um, make room for a bunch of cohorts to um, be in here while I went on a cart. So I am counting my blessings and also grateful that we do have some protocols in place that I think will keep us all safe while still being able to do a lot more musicking than we have been able to do for the last 18 months. So there it is. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you want more information, you can head to my website, CaldwellOrganizedChaos.com, and I will see you all next time. Bye.